picture on my mirror Start to blush when somebody says your name In my stomach there's a pain You walk in my direction, I go the other up way I start to stutter when I speak You understand what I need is going What's happening to me? In the dark, can you tell me what it means? I lay my head on my pillow Staring out the window Trying to stop for a sign Hey y'all, welcome back to another video with your girl It's Chenille. If this is your first time watching or clicking on any of my videos, I appreciate you. Go ahead and hit that red subscribe button so that you can be locked into the channel. Follow your girl on Instagram at it's underscore Chenille as that's where I post most of my life before it actually makes it to YouTube. Like the title of this video says, I am going to be showing y'all my quick and easy summer makeup routine this video pretty much is just me using less product but still being glammed still giving gorgeous um outside is just too hot yeah it is just too hot and if you're a makeup girly i give you praise baby because honestly it's not for me <laughs> it isn't i just want a little bit of foundation a little dab of this and i'm outside um i'll be using a lot of cost friendly products in this video um, and this video is also, if you have oily skin, I feel like this is a really good video for you because the way I do my makeup and pretty much just show you my technique to get my makeup to last a little bit longer with my oily skin, I feel like it will be uh, very good for someone with oily skin. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the video. I want y'all to see how I ended up achieving this gorgeous look. So go ahead and stay tuned, watch the video to the end, chat with me in the comments, let me know what y'all think. And girl, if you know about makeup, give your girl some tips, spare me some grace. This is not like an everyday thing for me, but I'm just trying. So yeah, let's get into the video. Alright y'all, let's go ahead and jump into the video. So I'll start off by cleaning my face and for that I'm going to be using my micellar water by Garnier um, with a cotton swab with a piece of cotton um, and I'm just going to clean my face and obviously I wash my face before but I just want to make sure I get everything off. It's And you can also use your Neutrogena uh, makeup wipes. But yeah. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to start off by moisturizing my face. This is very important. Also make sure you're using sunscreen. For sunscreen, I've been using the Aveeno sunscreen. I will not be using it tonight. But make sure you're using sunscreen. There's Black Girl sunscreen. There's Sunbum, I think. Uh, the Super Glue. Whatever. I'm going to have everything linked down below for y'all. Make sure you're using sunscreen. I won't be using any right now just because I'm really just making this video for y'all and then I'm going to bed. So I'm kind of like cutting the curve a little bit. Okay. But we definitely need to moisturize. So I'm going to start off with my belief. So this is the product that I use for moisturizing. And a little goes a long way. Now, if I was using sunscreen right now, I would just apply it right over my moisturizer. Um, or you could do the sunscreen before. And just as I moisturize my face, I want to make sure that I'm moisturizing my lips as well. For my lips, um, I pretty much just go in with my chapstick because the reality of it is I'm going to be doing my lips. But I just want something to keep on there while I'm doing my makeup. Now the next step is pretty much going to be to prime my face and for that I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. This thing is literally the truth. I live by it. I swear on it. This thing has been helping me especially if you have oily skin like myself. This is amazing. So for this primer um, I pretty much just put a little bit of a little dab on my fingers 
and then I rub that in and I put excess on the areas of my face that usually becomes oily um, faster which is gonna be my forehead my eyebrows and right under my eyes um, on these very high cheekbones and so once you apply your primer you definitely want to let that sit for a little bit so I'm gonna let mine sit on a little bit and also I've just been using my little fan to get that into my skin one of the things I've learned about doing my makeup is you definitely don't want to rush so with me being a person that's always late I have started just putting more time and effort in because what I've come to find out is rushing and throwing products on your face all at once does not give you the result that you are actually looking for. So now that I feel like my primer is nice and dry and it does have like a sticky feeling, like I could tell it's already dry, I will now go in and I will conceal. Now most persons do foundation right after their primer and that is fine for me personally. I like to conceal. As a matter of fact, I found a solution to my really oily skin where I have been pretty much applying a little bit of powder, uh, setting powder or baking powder in my areas that sweat really easily. And I usually do that just right before I put my concealer on. So we're gonna try it for the sake of this video and I hope it comes out good. So let's, so for baking powder, I am currently using the Revolution brand, the banana baking powder. So because I'm not baking, I'm not really baking yet cause I really don't have much product on my face. I'm not gonna be using excessive amount. And then I'm gonna be using my peach puff my areas that usually get like really really um grease uh oily very soon and now i can go ahead and apply my concealer which is going to be a liquid based concealer or cream based concealer and what that will do is just keep me my makeup lasting longer and just having more of a nice you know refined look for longer hours so let's go ahead and apply some concealer i've been trying to up my makeup game and just have more products spend more money um like i said i'm spending more time i'm also trying to spend more money on my products that being said i have three different concealers here i have the nyx the um I think Huda Beauty and the LA Pro Concealer. This one is the LA Pro Concealer. And that's my favorite one because I just know the finish of this one. Like I trust it more. But the NYX honestly uh, can't stop, won't stop, which is very affordable. You could get this in the drugstore, Walmart, Target, Ulta, all them places. You could get this one. And it's very affordable. But so my Huda Beauty is in the shade or the number 45 and then my LA Pro Concealer is in medium beige. So I'm just going to stick to this one for today. And like I said, I am doing a makeup, no makeup look. Pretty much what I've been doing all summer. So I'm not going to be using crazy amount of products um, because that's not what I've been doing. So yeah. So now we are just concealing the under eyes and the lip area. Pretty much I just conceal all the areas that I actually want to pop um, in my photos or when you see me like these are the areas that I want you to actually notice first. And we will do the brows um, in a little bit. I have been doing my brows before I do my makeup but I honestly did it the other day and I did my brows after and I found that I had way more control over it so that's what we're gonna be doing today so basically to uh, get my concealer out I'm gonna be using my real technique brush and this one is the RT 242 one thing I must say I need to kind of learn my brushes I don't really know my brushes that well and then I'm gonna go in with a beauty blender and finish it off and I'm also gonna be using a little bit of my LA Pro concealer setting spray while I blend my concealer and what this does basically is just help me from um, looking like all ashy when I blend pretty much 
Okay, so concealer is pretty much uh, all blended out. And now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my brows. Now for my brows, I'll be using my e.l.f. Brow Lift, which is gonna be this right here. And I'm also gonna be using, this is in the color black. Um, I don't remember where I got this, but it works, yeah. <laughs> so pretty much, I just go ahead and start off by lifting my brows pretty much with this product. How you want them to look, you know, like a perfect arch. If you already got like a nice arch, then you are blessed. Unfortunately, I don't, so this is what I have to do. And I just make sure it's all lifted. And if you have any little strays like I do right here, you could just use, um, you know, a little scissor and just go through it or a tweezer and kind of just pluck away anything loose, anything that you're not wanting. Now, I want to say when I put my concealer on, I like to let it sit for a few minutes before I blend it. Um, and I just realized that I blended it way too fast. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some setting spray to it once I get done with my brows. Uh, up so I pretty much draw some lines and that does the trick for me like by the end of this I'm gonna have a nice thick full brow so there it is and it looks super dark but we're gonna conceal it baby we're gonna conceal it okay and then I'm just doing the same thing over here Gonna conceal and pretty much just get it to what we want it to be, and that's the best part about it. Now, to conceal the brows, I'm definitely gonna be using my LA Pro Concealer, and this color is medium beige. And I'm doing that because I just trust this product more. And I'm just going in with a, another real technique brush. Um, like I said, I won't be concealing too much um, above the brows because I just feel like I don't have that much control. So I'm going to just keep it pretty much under the brows. So now I'm going to go ahead and set all that in with my Morph Setting Spray. Morphe Setting Spray. Um, you could get this in Ulta, I'm sure Sephora, Walmart, maybe anywhere you could get this. So I'll see y'all when this get dry. All right, so that's all in, all dried. Um, I like how it looks, and I look a little crazy right now. But trust the process, trust the process, baby, trust the process. I know what I'm, I know what I'm doing, girl. I know what I'm doing. All right, so now we gotta go in with our foundation, and I've been stuck on these three foundations, so. I was a Fenty Beauty girl and for the life of me I kept refusing to admit that it just was not me and the product were not we were just not in sync long story short my girlfriend put me on to NARS back in February and that's what I have been using this one is the NARS light reflecting foundation so it works for me honestly I love it the color correct the everything about it is just amazing now if you can see on my cheek area I do have some dark spots um, and you know it would be good to go ahead and color correct I've been using the LA Pro concealer in like a orange looking shade to do my color corrects but the other day I just noticed and I recently started using it so between that and a new uh, product that I've been using my face, those were the only two new things. And I just noticed that it was getting worse. Um, and that's crazy because I do use LA Pro Concealer and other, you know, like I use the concealer and stuff. I pretty much just make sure it's completely blended. Um, and I would advise you to do that because if you're not using a really good foundation or a foundation that's really going to cover all your scars, blemishes, everything. When you get done, you're gonna see it. And at the end of the day, it's natural, but with this foundation, I really don't see all the craziness um, behind the foundation once I use it, so that's why I like it. And then I found this one, it's the NYX um, Total Control 
uh, drop foundation. This one is also very amazing and it is super duper affordable. Really. And then the next thing that I am absolutely loving, Chef's Kiss, I use this more so for my daytime makeup though, is gonna Maybelline Dream Urban Cover. It's full coverage, um, protective makeup, and it also already has SPF 50. So I absolutely love this one for the daytime. And there is the product. So this is amazing for me in the daytime. But when I do mix it, I kind of use this one for my lower area of my face. And then I'll just use my NARS pretty much on the higher uh, frame of my head. And the reason I do that is because this honestly is a little bit darker. So it kind of just blends in as like, you know, a little contour going on. Yeah. But anyways, we're going to be using the NARS for this video. If I do throw in the Maybelline, I'll share it with you. But for right now, I'm going to be using my NARS. So I'm definitely not putting the foundation directly on my face. I'm going to just do a few pumps in this container here. And that way, I can use my brush to kind of mix it up, mix it out a little bit. I'm starting to love makeup because it's just like playing in paint all over again, girl. So now let's go ahead and apply. And you see the coverage. And I'm applying it directly under my concealed areas. I am going to apply foundation to the concealed areas, but not right now. It does not require like a big gulp and that's what I absolutely love 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 about it okay so now that I have used um, my brush to get that all in my skin I'm gonna go in with some more Morphe setting spray I'm gonna let that cool down a little bit seep all the way up in my skin and then we'll move on Alright, so now even though I've already concealed, and yes, I know most persons like to put their foundation on and then conceal, this is what works for me. I just like to get that white undertone under it and I'm going to be applying more. So now I'm going to be going with my Sephora stick and this is pretty much what I've been using um, for my... So I pretty much just go right under my cheeks and I do have some high cheekbones and then I go to the bridge of my nose here and then I also like to do my forehead and sometimes I'll do right here as well and for that we're going to be using our beauty blender. I like to use a brush so I'm just going to go in with my old um, I don't think this one was a real technique. I don't even remember what this brush was, but it's so old. Right, all right, all right. You see it. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we do want this to pop out back. Like, we did what we needed to do with the dark. And now I want it to really pop. So I'm going in with the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. And I'm pretty much just going to be doing a very, very light base of concealer here and like I said I'm using the banana revolution banana um, powder for this and so I'm gonna just go in with my little peach puff it is actually dirty and this is where you apply the most product like this is excessive baby if you want to pop this better be a lot and right here And we're gonna move on to the eyes um, let it just kind of marinate in you can also apply a little bit of setting powder at this point but personally I won't be doing that okay girl talking okay, this Juvia's place eyeshadow palette which is gonna be this one and this is what the colors are in the palette not really going for the full look like we don't want all that product so I'm gonna be going in with Kahina it's called and just see what it does I think it's very summery and cute and I just do that over the lids pretty much and not too much though cute 
cute girl to bring that all the way up um to my eyebrows just like right under my eyebrows I should say I like to just have the effect like right up under there so yeah I did just realize that I actually missed a step of my makeup which is putting on my blush um, and it is pretty much a liquid brush so I wish I had put it on before putting on the baking powder but that's okay so that's what the eyes are looking like for right now like we just did right there nothing fancy I'm gonna go ahead and kind of dust off all this powder from my face and their brush Ooh. Y'all, it's so funny. I'm actually filming this video at 11.52 p.m. Because I filmed it yesterday, which would have been Sunday. And I started to edit it um, about 8 p.m. tonight because I wanted to post it by Tuesday uh, afternoon. And when I started editing it, the lighting was just so bad. It was daytime. So both windows were open. I thought that was better but it really wasn't so I'm refilming this whole video all over and so I'm just realizing I'm missing steps um you know I was so more in tuned yesterday like I was just sitting here with everything laid out I knew what I was doing but now it's like I'm trying to rush it so to say because I do want to get done so I could go to bed because I do have work in the morning and one of the questions I got in my Q&A that I wanted this video to be was how do you juggle you know a nine to five while creating content and i used to say that question was not for me because at the time i just was not for me because at the time i just felt like am i really creating content like yeah i'm doing you know a video here and there but you know as my sister would say you are creating content and also i am you know youtube done changed um their requirements they don't change their requirements for YouTube and so I felt like until I got to a thousand subscribers I wasn't that girl or my content wasn't pretty much relevant or you know I'm not classified as one of the youtubers but I am <laughs> because YouTube don't change your requirements and I pretty much met the requirements that you know either way you take it I am taking time out of my days nights like I said this is 11 p.m. me making this video I'm gonna have to edit this video tomorrow morning I'm probably gonna have to wake up a little bit earlier to edit this video before I go into the office to have it posted by tomorrow night for y'all so how do I juggle it I don't know um, I do realize though um, last year I was very inconsistent I was just like I'm gonna make what I make and that's it this year I took my channel way more seriously and I grew I honestly grew like my videos they're growing like sometimes you know I might put up a video and I get 130 likes 130 views and I used to get so discouraged by that until I realized there are videos that I have on my YouTube channel with six thousand views six thousand persons done sat there and watched my video there are videos with 5k 2k 1k 400 like what I now have 852 subscribers if I'm not mistaken or 53 and I appreciate every single one of y'all I've said once I get to a thousand I'm still holding myself accountable to a thousand but once I make it to a thousand I do want to kind of reintroduce myself because I feel like I have so many new subscribers. These are no longer just people from my hometown, from high school, um, from my old jobs. These are persons that were just scrolling and found me, you know, through whichever video. But these are all new people and I appreciate every single one of y'all. I love when y'all chat with me in the comments. I love to see y'all sharing my stuff. Um, just a simple little thumbs up whatever I appreciate it guys I want to say I also appreciate you know persons that I know personally that are so supportive of me um, you know my sister influences me a lot she's just like create the content make the video I am very lazy <laughs> but she really pushes me and yeah I just really appreciate y'all I, I just had to get that out there basically been my blush so I'm using the NARS blush and this one is called Wonderlust and I absolutely love it. Now since I missed the step I could have used my e.l.f. blush because that one is more of like a powder but I want to use this one because I want y'all to see how beautiful it blends.
working on the eyes before I do anything else to the face. So I'm going to go in with a little wing liner. Pop. I don't know. Now also I have this palette from Juvia's Place. It's the dark brown bronze pa bronzed uh, palette. And I like to use it. I'm going to show y'all what I be doing with it. I kind of just like bring it back. I have a set here um, my sister gifted these gifted me these I think she got it in a package um, but I absolutely love it it's given for my lash glue it's that same little eyelash sassy eyelash glue just like hair glue but it's not hair glue it's actually lash glue and like full like this because I know for a fact that's too much so I'm gonna measure it and I'm gonna do a little clipping and I'm gonna put it on and then I'll come back they're wild this is not something I would wear on the regular this, usually when I do my lashes I use like a tweezer to put them on but I just use my fingers just now so so now I'm gonna be going in with my Fenty Beauty bronzer and I'm not going to be t doing too much uh, bronzing because I don't need to. Because I don't really want like... This is not like a club party kind of makeup. Like this is just a chill summer day type of makeup. I'm going to be going in with my Fenty Beauty setting powder. And this one is in the color Honey. We're going to go in and set this face. And then we're pretty much... Zunger. The lashes are really crazy. Like, what? Blush. So I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Putty, brush, putty Blush. And I'm going to really make this girl pop. Oh, I did miss mascara. So let's go ahead and apply some of that. And for mascara, I'm just using my Estee Lauder mascara. I really, really love it. We're going to go in and set my face. And for the setting spray, I'm going to be using the one size setting spray. This thing here. Okay, y'all. So while my face is setting, this is my very last step. And it's going to be my lips. So I'm going to go ahead and just wipe my lips off because I have a lot of products built up. Like, I don't want it too dark. And then I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Lippy. And this is pretty much a clear gloss. This is what I've been doing. I also have my NYX um, lippy which is also something that I use depending on what I'm going for for the lip combo but for right now I'm in like a chill calm new you know like neutral little vibe okay babe so this is the finished look this is what your girl is looking like absolutely amazed And how good everything came out like what and y'all already know I don't like the lashes <laughs> but other than I think I did an amazing job I think this is super cute this is very much uh, summer friendly for this heat nothing too crazy not too much products um, my skin's moisturized like I told y'all I would have um, applied sunscreen I just did not because I'm really taking this thing right off but make sure you're using your sunscreen and as you can see throughout the makeup I stayed hydrated girl somebody take me out Ooh, I wish it wasn't so late I would take myself for a little drinky drink or something girl this is so cute I'm gonna turn my light on just so y'all can see me from different angles. With this makeup, I pretty much did it in the dark. Um, I used a vanity and I used a ring light. But now I just turn my bedroom light on because if I was supposed to go out with this makeup, I wanna see what it would look like when the club light comes on, girl. Do I look crazy? And I don't. Super cute. Um, 
beginner friendly first of all um, and the products that I use like they're not they price they got price to them but uh, I think the most expensive thing would be my NARS foundation and my one side setting spray everything else you could get in the drugstore so yeah I was so happy making this video for y'all I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you know how to do makeup because y'all be y'all be y'all be eating it up please go ahead and comment down below give me suggestions give me tips let me know what you like what you didn't like what I could work on and also if you got any questions if any of the products that I displayed um, you didn't really like get a good glance of it. It will be linked in the description down below Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Thank you for watching it all the way to the end um, Let me know how y'all feel. That's all I can say and I will see you in the next video. I love y'all. Bye